like one dollar, so I get like twenty. Oh, yeah. What? I said take a hike now. Hi. He's been hitting the books. I, I might. No, I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> You're down on time. Kai, this game isn't about thinking. You gotta go. You gotta go. Go. Where am I going? I don't know, but it's not here. You gotta leave. So now, if I go here, click, and then I go. Shoot. Where are you going? Relax. I own you. I'm not worried about it. I said I own you. And you're not worried about it. Don't forget that part. Thank. I'm oh, sorry. It's about to get dead. The invitation's coming. Right now. Right now. I will look at the camera. I told you, don't you wish that queen was closer to home? Don't you wish that queen up. was closer to home? Don't you wish these pawns weren't doubled? Don't you wish something was different?
need you lost. I'm not worried about it. I lost? All day long. It isn't even close. I lost? It isn't even close. I lost? Let's see it. I said it isn't close. Let's see it. Now what? Now what? What are you going to do? That's mine. That's mine. I am black. Lost Noah? He's not a he's not a smart player. You're not a smart player. Give me that rook. Give me the rook. Give me the rook. I said give me the rook. You obviously don't know what you're doing. He doesn't know what he's doing. Thank you very much. Oh my god. That's right. Oh wait, no, come on, guy. What? He has not a mate. Of course he doesn't. I'll take a hike. I think he was talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> so he can say whatever the heck he wants. See you later. Now it's game time. He game can time. See, he, see, he just got lo he just lost. Now suddenly it's like, oh, um, something's wrong. Yeah, not the foot. I go here. Watch this. Watch this. I do know how to make. <laughs> what? <laughs> Watch this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my god. Oh boy. Good, that's why we check. I'm not letting it go this time. I know, I'm calling you a I'm not letting go this time. Now what? Now what? Mate, see you later. That's a victory over you and Noah. Where's Noah? I beat you too, Noah. Oh, come on. You don't want some of this, do you? Okay. You've been standing up all day. Why do you think something's going to change now? Look, you know something? I have to make a phone call. I'm sorry. I have to make a phone call. Oh. Don't worry, though. You're going nowhere. Classic phone call. Okay, okay. Classic phone call. Hey guys, Brian here, and how many of you guys were laughing when Mike said, I know how to mate? <laughs> What's he? There's another game like this with Mike and Carlini. I'll post it in the, in the video description if I remember, but those of you who are hardcore fans will remember there was a similar, <laughs> similar game like this. Well, I don't want to give out spoilers, but it will make you laugh your butt off like crazy. And finally, Mike figures out how to mate with the rook and the king, so... Beautifully done, Mike, and kudos to Mike for not giving up, not surrendering. You know, he was down in the endgame by a lot, but he busted out that sneaky, sneaky trick, man, that only Mike can do, and it worked, and he managed to close out the game. Beautifully done, Boston Mike, man, and we're going to go over in the analysis. It looked like Kai had that endgame in the bag, but what was the uh, death blow? We're going to go over what that was and it's a, it's a bit counterintuitive but once you see it um, I think you guys will enjoy it and we'll also go over how Mike could have closed out the game with the style a little bit uh, better so but but the way he he um, he checkmated was nice too so if you want to get Boston Mike a cup of coffee for that beautiful win his link is in the video description as well as Kai's and let's get to it man so the million dollar question is how could have Kai won this endgame so here in this position in the game, Rook takes pawn was played. Let's go move back. Will be another move for White here. 
Also, don't forget to check out the Amazon links to the chest gear you see in the video. They are in the video description as well as um, merch links for shirts and cups. All right, pawn takes seems like the right move, right? Um, but another move might be. What, what do you have to do when it comes to pass pawns? You must push them. So c4, this is your pass pawn. And this doesn't really seem like a, a, a good move because look, this pawn is so far away from queening. But as you'll soon see, it's very, very um, misleading in, in a good way. So black is going to play rook takes, obviously, and then you push c5 again. And now it's becoming a little bit closer. And, and now what is black going to do here? Black doesn't really have enough, does he have enough time to come here and take this, but even if he moves here, Rook can take, right? So what's the point? And if he goes behind here, then it just seems a bit too late. But let's just cover what happens if Rook over, if Rook over, would he play as white? Yes, King d5, and I'm going to try to escort that pawn to, to queening. Black's going to throw in the check, you can block it with the Rook. Maybe check from the side, but now you push c6, and now um, this king making his way over, getting some protection here, push. And uh, you'll see that the king will kick out the rook. And so that um, that pawn was awfully fast, even though it didn't seem like it. So going back here, instead of uh, rook c2, if rook b3, do you just snap the pawn off? No, keep pushing, keep pushing, c6. Rook takes, and now you cover the uh, the file. Rook check, king over, rook check, king over, and now um, you can catch black's pawn here, and this will be a win for white. So even though your pass pawn looks like it's far away, keep on keep pushing it because it is deceptively fast. So that is how. White could have closed out the game. Let's see. And um, so this is Mike's beautiful trick here. Notice uh, if I remember to splice it in. He he doesn't point to it in a grandiose fashion. He kind of nudges toward there. Just enough misdirection for Kai to pay attention. And boom. And we saw what happened. You already lost, Noah? He's not a, he's not a smart player. You're not a smart player. Give me that rook. Give me the rook. So going back here, just rook over, getting out of that situation would be um, one way to go. Last but not least, how does Mike win this game with glory? Here in this position in the game, rook takes his play. Let's go move back. If you want to be extra finesse and if you want to uh, checkmate with style, what do you play here? Yes, rook c6. Only move king a8 and that is a nice mate. And same situation here. How do you win this game with style? In the game, we had the check. Let's go move back. All you need is a simple waiting move. Rook a6 and mate. <laughs> but a uh, beautiful comeback win by Mike, man. It's very rare to see those. Um, but it all happened with that sneaky, sneaky trick. Mike is the, is the master at misdirection, man. He's the master of doing that. So beautifully done, Mike. Good fight, Kai. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys thought of the game in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification, and thanks. I'll see you guys tomorrow.